Imagine landing in a country that doesn't exist on any map, sounds impossible right? But in 1954 on a seemingly ordinary day at Tokyo's Haneda Airport, the impossible seemed to unfold before the very eyes of the bewildered airport staff. Enter a man, as ordinary as they come, his attire, nothing that would turn heads or raise eyebrows, his demeanor as casual as any weary traveler after a long flight, his suitcase filled with the mundane items one expects of a businessman on a trip, yet it wasn't his appearance that would leave an indelible mark on the annals of mystery, but rather his passport. Now we've all seen passports, those little booklets of identity, granting us access to foreign lands and welcoming us back home. But this man's passport was different, it was issued by a country no one had heard of, a country called Tored. His documents, as real and official as they come, bore the name of this non-existent country. His passport was filled with visa stamps, showing a history of travels, just like any other frequent flyer. Yet this country, this Tored, was not to be found on any world map, in any atlas or even in the annals of known history. As airport officials poured over his documents, the man stood patiently, perhaps even amused at the confusion he was causing. He was as certain of his nationality as the officials were of its non-existence. He was from Tared, he insisted, a country he claimed was located between France and Spain. But no such country exists between France and Spain or anywhere else for that matter. The man from Tared was a living paradox, a walking question mark in the world of the ordinary. How could a man belong to a country that doesn't exist? And just like that, a regular day at Tokyo Airport turned into an international mystery. How do you prove you're from a country no one has ever heard of? This was the baffling predicament the man from Tared found himself in. As the interrogation ensued, he maintained a calm demeanor, insisting that Tared was his homeland, a country nestled comfortably between France and Spain. But when presented with a world map, a veil of confusion descended upon his face. His fingers traced the borders of France and Spain, his brow furrowed as he searched for the familiar outlines of his supposed home. Yet there was no Tored to be found. His country, his home, was absent from the map. The frustration in his eyes was palpable. His steady voice wavered as he grappled with this inexplicable reality. He argued with the interrogators, adamant about the existence of his homeland. Every detail he provided about Tored felt real, from its distinct culture to its remarkable landscapes. He spoke of its languages, its government, and even its history with such conviction, it was hard not to believe him. However, the world map told a different story. Where he claimed Tared should be, there was only the small principality of Andorra. The man's confusion and frustration grew. He couldn't comprehend the discrepancy between his lived experience and the evidence presented to him. His world as he knew it had been wiped off the map. This wasn't a case of a lost traveler or a man fabricating tales. His passport was real, his business documents were credible, yet they all pointed to a country that simply did not exist in this world. The man from Tored was caught in a reality that did not align with the one he knew. The interrogators were left in a state of mystification. They were dealing with a man who was neither a liar nor a madman. His story was outlandish, yet his conviction was unwavering. The man from Tored was not a liar nor a madman, he was simply a stranger in a world that wasn't his own. In the blink of an eye, a man can vanish into thin air. The man from Tored seemed to embody this phrase, leaving behind nothing but a trail of enigma. After the intense scrutiny at the airport, he was escorted to a nearby hotel room, under the watchful eyes of the local authorities. The room, located on the 15th floor, was a fortress of sorts, no balconies, no fire escapes and only one door, guarded round the clock by two stern-faced police officers. There was no way out or so it seemed. As dawn broke, the guards prepared to escort the man back to the airport for further questioning, but when they unlocked the door, they found an empty room. The man from Tarid, it seemed, had evaporated into the ether. The bed was untouched, the room pristine. It was as if he had never been there. A thorough search ensued, a desperate attempt to find any trace of the man or how he might have escaped. But there was nothing. No secret passages, no hidden doors, no signs of a struggle. Even the window 15 floors up was locked from the inside. It was as if the walls had swallowed him whole. Meanwhile, back at the airport, the man's documents, the passport, the banknotes, the driver's license, had all vanished from the airport's high security vault. It was as if every trace of this man and the country he claimed to hail from had been wiped from existence. The police were baffled, left clutching at straws. The media went wild with speculation. 
but the man from Tored remained an enigma, a puzzle with no solution. And so, the story of the man from Tored takes another mysterious turn. A man appears from a country that doesn't exist, only to disappear without a trace from a room with no escape. The very fabric of reality seemed to warp around this man, leaving us with more questions than answers. In the end, the man from Tored left as mysteriously as he arrived. When faced with the inexplicable, the human mind turns to theories. And so it has with the man from Tored, a mystery that continues to baffle even the most seasoned investigators. The theories surrounding this enigma are as varied as they are intriguing, each one offering a unique perspective on a tale that defies conventional explanation. One theory that has gained traction is the concept of parallel universes, an idea that has fascinated scientists and science fiction enthusiasts alike. According to this hypothesis, the man from Tored might have hailed from a parallel universe where Tored exists, a world that mirrors ours but with slight differences. Perhaps in his universe Tored is well known, just as Tokyo or New York is in ours. This theory suggests that he inadvertently crossed over into our universe resulting in the baffling situation at the airport. Then there's the time travel theory. Could the man from Tored have been a visitor from a future where nations have changed, and Tored is a reality? This theory raises intriguing questions about the nature of time and our understanding of it. If time is not linear as we perceive it, could it be possible for someone to slip through the cracks, so to speak, and appear in our present? Another captivating theory is the idea of dimensional travel. This theory suggests that there might be dimensions beyond our perception and understanding, dimensions where the laws of physics as we know them don't necessarily apply. The man from Tored could have been a traveler from one such dimension crossing over into ours through means that are beyond our current scientific understanding. As we delve into these theories, it's important to remember that they are just that, theories. None provides a definitive explanation for the mystery of the man from Tored. Each one opens a Pandora's box of further questions and possibilities, adding to the enigma rather than resolving it. Each theory is as enigmatic and fascinating as the man himself. A mystery unsolved is a story that never dies. These words ring true as we delve into the legacy of the man from Tored. A single incident, a solitary man, and an unknown country named Tored have sparked the imagination of millions around the globe. This enigmatic story has managed to transcend the boundaries of time, leaving a mark that continues to be felt to this day. The man from Tored has become a symbol of the unexplained, a beacon for those who seek answers in the realm of the unknown. His story has become a fertile ground for creatives inspiring a wealth of pop culture references. The tale has been spun into countless narratives across various mediums, becoming the backbone of numerous books, movies, and TV shows. Authors have taken the liberty to explore the possibilities of the man's origin, weaving tales of parallel universes, time travel, and interdimensional rifts. The silver screen has not been left behind. Filmmakers have used the man's story to craft thrilling narratives full of suspense and intrigue, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. Television shows too have drawn from this well of mystery. Episodes have been dedicated to unraveling the riddle, each rendition adding a new layer to the enigma. From forensic investigations to supernatural interpretations, the man from Tored's story has been dissected from every conceivable angle. But it's not just within the confines of fiction that the man from Tored has found a home. His story continues to be a topic of heated discussion in various forums, captivating the minds of conspiracy theorists, historians, and mystery enthusiasts alike. The man from Tored has become a captivating enigma, a jigsaw puzzle with pieces that refuse to fit. The man from Tored may be gone but his story continues to live on, a tantalizing mystery that may never be solved. His legacy is a testament to our innate curiosity, a reminder that there are still mysteries in this world that are beyond our understanding, waiting to be unraveled. The man from Tored in his absence has become a presence, a mystery that continues to captivate us, a story that truly never dies.